Dust mopping. Preparing yourself and your area. Ensure the correct PPE is worn at all times. Pick up and remove all large debris and be certain any wet spots are dried. Place A-frames or safety signs to clearly mark the area you are mopping, ensuring all access points are covered. Preparing your equipment. Before you commence, ensure that you understand the area you are dust mopping. Choose the correct sized frame according to the size of the area you are about to clean. This will be the mop that cleans the area in the fewest number of passes. Select and attach the relevant sized Hygen Quick Connect frame to the handle. Available in 40, 60, 90 or 120 centimetres. Place relevant dust pad on the floor with the Velcro side up. Lower the frame onto the Velcro side of the dust pad. Adjust the ergonomic extension handle to the correct length. Typically, this should be to chin height. Large areas. Hold the handle so the angled end points towards you. Dust the floor with a push sweeping technique, overlapping your passes slightly to ensure full coverage. When you have a buildup of dust on the leading edge, simply release and rotate the frame 180 degrees so you utilize both edges of the pad. If the pad has accumulated too much dust, vacuum the surface of the pad to remove the dirt before reusing. When you have finished dust mopping the large area or the pad has become very dirty, remove the dirty mop pad by peeling it away from the frame. Put the dirty pad away, ready for laundering. Small areas and rooms with furniture. Hold the handle with the angle end pointing upwards. This setup is designed for figure of eight mopping and should mean that your wrist will remain straight at all times during operation. Dust mop the floor using overlapping figure of eight strokes. Start at the furthest point away, working your way back towards the point of entry. If the pad has become very dirty, replace it with a fresh one. When you have finished dust mopping the area, Remove the dirty dust pad by peeling it away from the frame. Remove A-frames and safety signs from your work area. Return to service. Clean the equipment after use. Return the equipment to the designated place on the cart 